Hi, my name is Rod and I'm going to give you five tips on how to get a better mark in the IELTS speaking exam. To begin with, my name is Rod and I am going to give you five tips. How do I sound? I sound like a robot. So will you. When you're doing the IELTS speaking test, use contractions. My name's Rod and I'm a teacher. My name's Rod. I'm a teacher. In your IELTS writing paper, sure, you don't do it, write it in full. But when you're speaking, that's natural, that's the way we talk, that's what the examiner is looking for. Number two, in the two minute talk, add details. You're going to get extra marks for fluency and for vocabulary if you can add details. So you are doing a two minute talk about, for example, a restaurant that you have been to. Don't just talk about the restaurant. When did you go? How did you go there? What was the weather like? What were the people like when you got in there in the restaurant? Was it noisy? Add those extra details, you're adding vocabulary. Tip number three, G, R, A, grammar, range and accuracy. You need to show that you can use English tenses accurately and appropriately. And this is one possible way in the two minute talk that you can do so. Or any other questions as well if they ask. Okay, next tip. Let's get some tenses in there. Let's imagine that the examiner has perhaps asked you about a restaurant that you know. Let's get a present tense in there, a present perfect tense in there. Why don't you say, I have been to a particular restaurant three times. You're talking about something that you have done in your life, and that's a perfect use of the present perfect tense. Now, let's get a past simple in there. How about you say, the first time that you went there? I went there. The first time? Five years ago, and now you've gone from the present perfect tense into the past simple tense, you're showing your grammar range and your accuracy. If you want to bring it back now to the present, you can get the present simple in there. Why don't you talk about how often you go there? Present simple. I go there most weeks. Add some detail with a couple of friends, and now you've gone present perfect. As simple, present simple, all three tenses used perfectly. You're going to increase your GRA, your grammar range and accuracy mark. Okay, let's talk about something you can use to increase your fluency to show your vocabulary again. Huh? Use the V technique. The examiner asks you a question about, for example, what people like to do in your country. So. First of all, speak generally. Talk about everybody. So the examiner says, what do people like to do in your country to relax at the weekend? Well, everybody likes to relax at home, forget about work, have a good time. Bring it down a little bit, and let's talk about what some people like to do. Some people like to go away for the weekend. Some people like to work in their garden. Now bring it down even further. I. I like to stay at home, chill out, read a good book, and just generally enjoy my free time. And finally, tip number five. Be negative. If you want to increase the range of things that you have to say, don't just say what things happen, say what things don't happen. So for example, the examiner asks you, what do people like to give as a wedding gift in your country? So, talk about what you perhaps like to give. I like to give something I don't, for the house. Okay. Now, Put in a negative sentence. A lot of people, however, 
don't like to do this. They prefer to give, I don't know, money. But personally, I don't like to give money. I like to give something that's a little bit more personal, something that people can really enjoy. And that's it, five tips. Use contractions, add details, use a range of tenses, use the V to increase your fluency, and be negative when necessary. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe here, or leave us a comment down here. Thank you very much, bye.